Welcome to Thoughts on the Market. I'm Michael Zizas, Global Head of Fixed Income and Thematic Research for Morgan Stanley. Along with my colleagues bringing you a variety of perspectives, I'll be talking about developments in the U.S.-China economic relationship. It's Wednesday, August 9th at 10 a.m. in New York. News this week broke that the U.S. government is close to finalizing rules that would limit U.S. investment into China related to cutting-edge tech sectors, such as quantum computing and artificial intelligence. The long-awaited move, which we've discussed many times on this podcast, is yet another sign that the rewiring of the global economic system continues, transitioning from one of globalization to that of a multipolar world. But when news breaks like this, it's helpful to remember that the headlines can sound worse than the reality. Yes, it's likely that the global economy and therefore markets would be better off if the U.S. and China could find a way to deepen their economic ties. But the fraying of those ties need not be a substantial negative either. And these new outbound investment restrictions are a great example of that point. The proposed rule will, reportedly, restrict investment in companies who derive more than half their revenue from the sensitive technologies in question. Effectively, that means the U.S. will mostly be concerned with U.S. investors not funding development of new technology through startups. It could potentially leave the door open to more traditional forms of U.S. investment into China, namely through working with larger companies on market access and supply chain solutions. So while many companies are still likely to seek diversification away from China for their supply chains, they still have the ability to do this over time, as opposed to an abrupt decoupling that investors would likely see as carrying much greater risk to the global economy and markets. So this gives investors a better chance to identify the opportunities that emerge as companies and governments spend money to adopt to these new constraints. Security as an investment theme is something we see potential in, with the defense sector and many industrial subsectors as beneficiaries. Geographically, we see Mexico, India, and broader Asia as best positioned to capture investment in jobs from supply chain realignment, given their labor costs and proximity to key end markets. Thanks for listening. If you enjoy the show, please share thoughts on the market with a friend or colleague, or leave us a review on Apple Podcasts. It helps more people find the show. The preceding content is informational only and based on information available when created. It is not an offer or solicitation, nor is it tax or legal advice. It does not consider your financial circumstances and objectives and may not be suitable for you. 